Hi, Yarnabees. How are you today? Today is the May episode of the beautiful 12 Project collab that I am doing with the most wonderful Jeanette at Miss Hootie Hootenin's Crafts. And we are doing, if you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a playlist down below. <clears throat> Basically what it is, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Basically what it is, is every month, um, Jeanette and I take turns making a tutorial or a pattern. And so far, I think we've just done tutorials. We haven't done patterns yet. <laughs> so anyway, um, I did January. She did <clears throat> February. What is with my throat? <laughs> um, I did March. She did April. And now I am doing May. And uh, we are having so much fun with this. We are totally having so much fun. So we would love for you to join us and making these projects. So there, like I say, there's a playlist down below where you can see all the past ones that we have done. This month I decided to do this. <clears throat> La -la! It is the pink, pink, no, rose petal <laughs> summer cover up. <laughs> Holy cow. <clears throat> so, yeah, so I'm really hoping that you enjoy this tutorial and I would love to see what you make and um, post a picture on my Facebook group, which is linked down below as well. And go over to Jeanette's channel and um, give her some yarny love. Okay, so let's get to the tour tutorial. <laughs> okay, I love you all. I'll talk to you soon. Hi Yarnabees, how are you today? Today we are going to be making the Rose Petal Summer Cover Up. And what I'm going to be using is dun, da, 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 the Karen Cotton Funnel Cakes. Yay! So hopefully you have some of this in your stash. If you don't, any cotton will work. Uh, any acrylic will work actually. But you know, if it's summertime, you want it to be light. So cotton is perfect. Okay, this cotton cake is a medium four weight. It's 100% cotton. Uh, it asks for a five millimeter hook, but we are going to fudge that a little bit. Um, this one is petal ro a rose petal. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I'm going to use this one. And this one is called Cumulus. I believe, yes, cumulus, and we're going to be alternating colors. So I'm going to be using this hook, and this is my furls hook, and it is a size seven. Okay, so get your cotton and come and join me for the tutorial. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to get your tape measure your trusty tape measure and you are going to measure your hip to hip okay uh, now if you're using cotton just remember that 100% cotton does not have any stretch to it if you're using a cotton acrylic blend or something like that then there is going to be some stretch to it so the number that you get on your uh, tape measure may change Okay, because um, like I said, there's going to be some stretch if you're using an, acry an acrylic. So you're going to measure your hip to hip. And mine is approximately 32. Okay, because I'm using cotton, I'm going to make that a 35. Yeah, I'm going to do 35. Just so I have extra, um, you want this to be like light and airy and big, like oversized. All right. Now, the other one that I did, oh, sorry, I got my dogs in the way and I don't want to roll her tail in. Okay, I did this one. 
before. You guys have probably seen this on my um, Facebook and everything. Okay, and I did this with uh, Eco Waves. Okay, this has a lot of stretch. So it's really light and airy. Okay, now the size of this one is, let's see. Okay, this one says it's approximately 28. So, I but this, like I said, this has has a bit of stretch to it, but um, yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe, uh, maybe I will stay with 32, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully, <clears throat> excuse me. Hopefully, it's not um too small. Cause like I said, I want it to be nice and airy. But just like I say, measure from hip to hip, and uh, and let's get started. All right. So you may hear Bailey in the background. She's having fun with her toys. <laughs> so, all right. What I'm going to do is a found as usual in most of my tutorials. I'm going to do a foundationless uh, double. Actually, it's going to be a foundationless double crochet. There we go. Um, but you don't have to. Uh, I will err on the side of caution, though. Um, if you're doing just a chain, you're not going to have that give. Okay, I'm doing the foundationless double crochet, so it has that flow, that really nice stretchy flow to it. All right, but you're more than welcome to do a chain and then do a double crochet row. Uh, on that chain. All right, but if you're following along with me, I'll bring you in a little bit. Oops, that might be too much. Okay, you're going to do your slip knot. Okay, now you're going to start with a chain of three. Okay, get yarn over. You're going to go in that first chain. You're going to go in there and you're going to chain up one. Then you're going to yarn over, chain up two, and only go in that first chain. Okay. Now you got three on your hook. You're going to yarn over and finish your double crochet. You're going to go through two, yarn over, go through two. Okay. Now make sure that you keep your finger on here, like right here. You don't want to, you don't want this, this second chain that you did, second chain up, you don't want this one to be too tight because you're going to be going in there again. Okay. <clears throat> so let's do that again. Yarn over. You're going to go into this hole right here. Okay, that's your second chain that you did up. Okay, gonna yarn over, go through once. Yarn over, go through once on that first chain. You're gonna put your finger on here, right there. You're gonna hold that in place. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. Okay, now what this is doing is it's making your chain and your double crochets all in one. Okay, so there you go. Got your double crochets right there. I know that this stitch is a little difficult for some people, but as long as you remember to keep it loose, don't hold your hook too tight, don't you hold your yarn too tight. If you're a tight uh, crocheter, this might not be the best um, stitch for you. So just make sure everything's just loose and, you know, not too loose, but just don't make it too tight because you're going to want to still be able to get into these loops. Okay, so put your finger on there, yarn over, 
go into that stitch, that chain two, yarn over, pull up one, yarn over, go through the first one, yarn over, go through the first one again, put your finger on there, okay? Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, there's your next double crochet. <clears throat> yarn over, go into that chain, that chain space, yarn over, pull up one, yarn over, pull up one, put your finger on that chain right there, yarn over, finish your double crochet, go through two, Yarn over, go through two. Okay? Do it one more time. Yarn over, go into that chain space that your finger's on, pull up one, yarn over, pull up one through the first one, put your finger on there, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay? So there you have it. Now you're going to do the length, you know, um, the amount that is the length of the whatever you did and mine was, what was mine? 32. So I'm going to keep going until it reaches 32 inches. So you go and do yours for the length of whatever your size is. Okay? And I'll meet you back when you're done. Okay, so I'm finished my chain and I did um, it I did about 70 stitches um, and it comes out to about 30 inches. Now, like I said, when you're doing the foundationless double crochet, it's got some stretch to it. So that's why I didn't do the full um, 35. I'm hoping that this is going to be enough because I put it around my waist and it goes from hip to hip. So um, we'll see how that how it goes. All right, but that's going to be different for everybody. Okay. All right. So also and also, if you're doing just um, the chain. You're just going to do the exact same thing. You're going to chain however many it takes to get to your size. And then you're going to go back and you're going to do a row of double crochets all the way down. All right. Okay. So here we go to the next stage. You're going to chain up th uh, four. Okay. Now we're going to be doing treble crochets. So that chain four is like your first treble. All right. Okay. So you're going to go into your first stitch. You're going to do yarn over twice. Okay. Go into your first double crochet. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, that's going to be your first treble crochet. Okay, you're going to yarn over twice. Go into your next double crochet. Pull up. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's it. That's what we're going to be doing throughout the whole um, cover up. Yarn over twice, go into your next double crochet, yarn over, pull up once, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay? And it's as easy as that. Now don't do these really tight, okay? Do these, you know, 
you want this to be airy. Oops, sorry. You want this to be airy and, and light. Okay, so you don't want these stitches tight. Okay. That's all you're doing. You're running over twice. Going into your double crochet, pull up once. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Okay. All right. So you're going to continue this all the way down. Now it's up to you. If you're using just one color, um, then you don't have to worry about it. But if you're using two colors, then you can decide how many of these rows you want to do before you change your colors. Okay. Uh, I think I might try four. Four rows of this. Okay. So. Yeah. So you do as many rows of this first color as you want. And I'll meet back up with you when you're finish that and then we'll change colors. Okay, I'm at the end of my first row. Don't forget that this one right here is still a stitch. Okay, so you're gonna go into the top of that stitch as well. Okay, Okay, now at this point at the, at the first row, um, put it up against you uh, from hip to hip and make sure that it goes around you. <clears throat> if it's a bit bigger than you expected, then that's fine because you want it to be um, big and airy and flow, flowy. Airy and flowy? <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay. We're going to chain up four, turn your work, okay, and then we're going to do that all over again. Yarn over twice, go into your first treble crochet, pull up, go through two, go through two, go through two, okay, yarn, yarn over twice. Go into your next one, pull up once, yarn over, go through two, go through two, whoops, go through two. Okay, and you're going to keep doing this for, if you're following me, then it's going to be four rows until you change your color. Uh, if you're not changing your color, what you're going to do is you're going to continue to do these rows for the whole length of the front part of your um, cover-up. Okay, so if you wanted it, you know, your hips, then you do it for the length that it's going to go to your hips. Or if you want it a bit longer, right, the amount of yarn that you're going to be using is all dependent on your size and the length that you want it. So <clears throat> if you've got two balls of each color or four balls of one color, that should be enough um, to do this whole thing. Okay, so <clears throat> like if you're, like for me, I'm a 2X, a 2XL. So, uh, so I'm hoping that these two balls, one of each color, is going to be enough for me. Um, but if you've got two balls of each color or four balls of one color, you should have enough regardless of like it all it should go all the way up to 5x i i would think 
but don't quote me. I'm not sure. But it should be fine. Okay. So I'm going to do uh, two more rows of this and then I will be back. Okay, so I have finished my four rows and this is what it's looking like. And this, just in case you would like to know, measures um, four and a half inches. Okay. All right. So we're just doing the last stitch. Now we're not going to finish the stitch. We're going to yarn over twice. Going to go into the top of this chain and pull through once. Okay. Now you're not going to finish it. You're going to take your next color. Going to put it through or put it on your hook. Then you're going to pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, whoops, pull through two. Okay, oh, hang on. Okay, now we've attached that. Now if you want to, um, you can weave in this end if you want, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to knot this for now. Okay. All right. Now both your colors are attached for the rest of your project. All right. So now we're just going to chain up four. Turn your work. Okay, <clears throat> you're gonna this other one that you've been using. You're just gonna drop it and just pull it aside. And then you're gonna continue with your next color. Yarn over two. Go into your first or your well, I guess it's technically your second treble. Pull up one. Yarn over. Pull in two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, now you're going to keep on going for another four rows. Okay. And this is all you're going to do throughout the whole project until you get to um, the length that you want. Okay. Okay. So once you get to the length that you want it, I'm assuming for mine, uh, it's going to be approximately 21 inches. Approximately. But yours is going to be different, of course. Okay, so just continue on doing your four rows of color, four rows of white, four rows of color, four rows of white, or, or whatever colors you're doing. And uh, I will meet you back when I am done the front panel. Okay, so here we are. I've done all of my rows for the first part. I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six sections, like six color uh, sections of color. Uh, so there's three three sections each for the different colors. Uh, so now what you're going to do is your neck. All right, you're going to figure out your neck. So what you're going to do is you're going to figure out how how wide you want your neck. Here, let me bring you over a little bit more here. Okay, you're going to figure out how wide you want your neck. And then you're going to count equal amounts on either side of your garment. Okay, 
to make sure that you've got I've got 25 on one side and 25 on the other okay and then I've got this left so this is going to be my next space and then you just put your stitch markers in and then you continue on okay so now you're going to want them to be the same so you're going to want to continue with the color that you finished with so because now we're going to start working on the back piece and it's all in one piece okay so you're going to chain up four okay you're going to flip your work okay and oops oh i'm all caught up here okay now you're going to do your oops the same stitches your treble crochets down until you get to the stitch marker okay Okay, and then I'll meet you when I get down to my stitch marker. Okay, now I'm on my last treble crochet. Okay, now what you're going to need is a bigger hook. Oops, I forgot to mention that. Um, like one size up. Like I'm going to use a size 8 millimeter okay if you ha don't have an eight millimeter use the next size up that you you can okay now we're going to count how many we have in between the stitch markers okay so we've got oops two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty one fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two okay so you're going to take <coughs> your other hook and you're going to chain 22. And the reason why I'm doing this is because if I used the same, um, the same size hook, if you chain 22, it's going to be really, they're going to be really small. So you want it to span as best you can, can have and do them fairly loose. Eleven. Oops. One. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one and twenty-two. Okay. So you see how whoop, how it spans <coughs> the length. If I had done that with the other hook I probably would have come to about here and then you know so there now you can go back to your other hook and you're going to go into the space that has your stitch marker and do your next treble Okay, and then you just continue on. I'm getting all mixed up here. You continue on with your trebles all the way to the other end. Okay, and then you're gonna chain up your four and you're gonna go back towards the chain. Okay, and I'll meet you there. Okay. So I've gone all the way the one way and then come all the way back to my chain. So don't forget to put your hook into this one as well. I guess that is your last stitch before your chain. Okay, now you're going to do your trebles into your chain. Okay, so you're going to turn your chain 
I'm going to go into the first one. Find your second one. And you're going to do whatever the amount is that you had for your neckline. And you're going to keep going across. And this is exactly why you, <clears throat> you wanted to use a bigger hook so it's easier to get into this chain. You keep going across your chain and then don't forget this one here go into that one and then you keep going across and then you finish your um, your rows what is this one two three four so this is your first row then you, this the one that you're working on now is your second row then you do two more rows so you get your four rows all together and uh, and then I will finish up my back so you do your four rows then you switch your colors again do your four rows and you repeat and you do the exact same thing that you did on this side okay and, uh, and yeah, you just keep on going and keep on going until you've finished your, your back piece. And when you're done, I will come back and show you what to do next. I'm back. I'm sorry, I totally made a mistake there. Um, I said that this is your second row and then you do two more rows um, to finish your four rows. No. <laughs> this is actually your first row. This row here is your shoulder row. Okay, this is going to be sitting on your shoulder. So that one doesn't really count as your as being your four rows, part of being part of your four rows. Okay? This one here, the chain row is going to be your first row. So you're going to do three rows after that because when you fold it this is going to be on your shoulder. Okay? And then this is going to be your first row. I hope that makes sense. So this this row that you did up to the neckline doesn't count as your as part of your rows. Okay? This chain row, this is your first row. And then you're going to do your three rows and then change your colors. Okay? Sorry about that. Okay, so now I have done the length of both sides okay but remember you did your foundationless double crochet on to start this project so now you are going to do one row of double crochet to finish this off okay so you're going to chain up three And you're going to turn your work. Okay. And you're going to go into your trebles and just do a double crochet. Okay. Oops. All right. Just keep doing double crochets all the way to the end and then you're finished that part and then we can move on to putting your two sides together okay so I will see you back here when you've done your double crochet row. Okay, so I finished my double crochet row and then I just tied off my yarn. 
Okay, I'll bring you out a bit here. And then now your front and your back are finished. So I actually used just one, um, one of each skeins and this is what I've got left over so far. Now if you don't want to put sleeves on your garment then I, you won't have to have any more yarn but if you do want to put sleeves on your garment then you might need to go to two balls um, depending on the size of your garment. Okay, um, like I said, I'm an extra large, and the length of this one so far is about 22 inches long. All right, all right. So now what you're going to do is you're going to put stitch markers. You're gonna you're gonna figure out your armholes. Okay. So you want to have a little bit of space in your armholes, okay, so that it's nice and loose and um, not being constricting at all. So you're, I mean, for me, I'm going to do about 11 inches. It seems like a lot, but like I say, I don't want it to be all gapped underneath my armpit or anything like that. I want a really big, loose um, sleeve. So <clears throat> you're going to mark it off, try it on, make sure that the armholes are where you want them. If you want them smaller, then you can make them smaller. <clears throat> and then you're going to start sewing up the sides of your garment. Now if you'd like to you can put stitch markers oops, all the way up just matching the colors on either side making sure that your colors are all together. Okay and then oops where's my yarn and then you're just gonna do I think I'm gonna do um, two single crochets in each hole, each space. Okay. So, bring in a little bit. So I'm just going to grab both, both sides and attach my yarn. Okay, might as well weave in my ends while I'm here. Okay, so then I'm just going to go in and do a single crochet, go to your next set, make sure that you've got both sides of your garment. I think that's probably a bit too much of an end, so I'm just going to cut that off. Okay. And then just go in and do two single crochets. You can do these loose. They don't have to be too, <clears throat> too um, tight. Okay. And don't crochet your hair in your garment like I just did. <laughs> okay, match up your side here. Okay, put your whites together. Oh, whoops, sorry. There's an end that I have to do. Okay, and then just do that all the way up until you get to 
your armpit area. Okay. Make sure that the holes are together and you're not going into like this stitch. <coughs> you want to go into the big hole area. Okay. Okay. And I'm at the armpit. Okay, and then you're just gonna cut your yarn and do your knot. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Okay, well, <laughs> it's a good thing that I knotted that really well. When you're knotting this yarn, it is, it breaks that easily. It just breaks real easy. So be careful when you're knotting your yarn. All right, so now you're gonna do your other side. Oops, sorry. You're gonna do your other side and then um, we're going to start on the arms, which is pretty much the same as this, but I'll walk you through it anyway. All right. Okay. So I will see you when you're finished that. And don't forget to try it on and make sure that it's all good. Okay. Now that your sides are all done up, you're going to turn your garment right side out. Okay. And then you're going to start on your sleeves. If you don't want any sleeves, then this would be the end of the video for you. Um, but if you do want sleeves, you can do your sleeves as long as you want. You can do like little cuff sleeves or, um, or, uh, three quarter sleeves or full sleeves, whatever you like. Okay. So you're going to take your yarn. Whoops. My yarn is all messed up here. There we go. <clears throat> You can start with whichever color you want. And you're going to go to the bottom where your armpit would be. Okay, you're going to have two big holes right here. Or you should have. <laughs> so you're going to go into that one hole and you're going to attach your yarn. Okay, you're going to chain up three. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to do two treble crochets in each of these big gaps. Okay. So yarn over twice. You're going to go back into that same. Oops. Uh, I'm all messed up here. Go back into that same hole. You're going to do another treble. Okay, yarn over twice, go into the next hole, do two trebles, yarn over twice, go back into that hole, that same hole, do two trebles, or do a treble, okay, so you got two in each, go into your next one, do two trebles. Okay. And just keep going all the way around. Oh, got my yarn all catching up on everything here. And don't crochet your hair in with your garment like I just did. <laughs> So 
the trouble when, the, when you've got long hair. Or you're crocheting your dog's hair in there, or your cat's hair. Or <laughs> I love my animals, but I do not want their hair in my garments. Okay, and that's all you're going to do all the way around to the other side. I'll meet you back here. Okay, I'm on my last set of trebles. So we're at the bottom. Oh, I got two more. Got uh, to do. Okay, here's the, the other hole at the bottom. You're going to do your two trebles in there. And then you're going to, whoops, try in here, going to attach, you're going to go over here to your first two trebles, and attach to the third, oh, sorry, yeah, there, your third chain up. slip stitch. Okay. All right. There we go. Okay, now all you're going to do is your trebles like you've normally been doing. Chain up four. Go into your first available, not this one, but your first available treble, and do your treble. Go into your next available treble, oops, and do a treble in there. Now at this point you've got to figure out do you want to do the same as you've been doing? Do you want to do your four rows of each color? Or do you want to do um, just all one color. I'm thinking I'm going to do all one color. I'm just going to do all the beige color for my sleeves. And uh, that way I don't have to worry about ends and stuff like that. So you can just make your sleeve as long as you want. Okay, so remember for the, that first row, you're going to do two trebles in each um, hole. And then from that point on, you're just going to do the one treble in each stitch. Okay, and you're going to do that for both sides. And then you're done. Okay, so I will meet up with you when I'm finished my sleeves. Okay, so I'm finished my sleeves and I did 13 rows and that is about almost, well, 12 and a half to 13 inches long. And guess what? You're done! Yay! <laughs> I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. It's really simple and, you know, very quick to do. And it looks so nice on. And you can do it any color you want. And like I said, you can do it with any yarn, really. Um, if you wanted something a little heavier, you could use acrylic. Um, but this cotton, I have to say, this cotton surprised me. It's really squishy and um, really comfortable. I love this cotton, to be honest. So, and I'm not a cotton person. 
but with this stitch, um, it just I just love it. So yeah, so there you have it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.